Hey everyone, so we're back at Hershey Park again today and we're expecting it to be a very high crowd level. Hershey Park the last few years has been pretty crowded in the middle of the summer. So what we're planning on doing is getting a fast lane pass to allow us to skip the lines to ride some of the coasters and a couple other flat rides here. And what we want to do is we want to take a look at what the expected wait time is for each of the rides and then compare it to how long we actually wait using the fast lane pass and see if the fast lane is actually worth the money. So the fast lane here actually has multiple different tiers of pricing. They have a version that allows you to ride, to skip the lines on the rides that are outside of the water park, a version that allows you to skip the lines inside the water park, and also one that does a combo of both. And in addition to that, they offer packages that allow you to ride each ride one time or a package that allows you to ride each ride as many times as you want. And of course, based on what you order, the pricing is going to vary. And it also varies according to the expected crowd level for that day. So a higher expected crowd means a higher price. So let's go around to each ride, see how long the wait times are, and see if our purchase was worth it. So first we can show you the ways that you can get a fast track pass here to skip the lines. There are a couple of ways to do it. One way if you choose to do it in the park, you can go to this building over here that says HP Go Plus. You'll run into it a few hundred feet on your right once you pass the entrance gate. If you go inside, you can purchase it from a register and they'll give you a wristband that way. Or you can also purchase one online. If you choose to go that route and purchase a fast track online, you can also come over to the HP Go Plus building and use one of these kiosks here. The process is really easy. You would go create new wristband. Enter your initials. Enter your zip code, whatever your zip code may be. And then if you have a season pass, enter your season pass, scan your season pass here. They have a scanner here, I believe. And then after you scan your season pass, or if you don't have a season pass, hit continue. And then you can scan your fast track if you have one already. If you just want a wristband, since you need a wristband to scan once you're at the rides, you have to scan the fast track that you probably have on your phone. Once you do that, I'm just going to hit no for the sake of this, and then it'll print. And that's all there is to that. After further review, we see that the scanner is actually down here. Yeah, where Jen is showing you, that's where you would scan anything that you need to scan. And here's a look at the bright orange wristband that they give you. Pretty plain, just as HP Go and has a little kiss where you're actually supposed to scan. Okay, so here we are at the Comet. According to the Hershey Park app, the Comet right now is a 30 minute wait. And the clock says that it is 11.33. Here's a look at what the line looks like at this moment. It looks pretty full and people are coming out of the queue, though the queue isn't completely open, but that's still a lot of people. Let's see how much time the quick, the fast lane saves us. Okay, so after riding, Comet is still a 30 minute wait and it is now 11.47, so we were able to use the fast track to ride in 14 minutes. Part of this particular queue and a few other queues that you will run into at this park put you partially back into the main line after you pass through the fast track checkpoint and so we did wait behind a handful of people but it wasn't too bad. 14 minutes for a 30 minute wait is, is pretty good. And also of course uh, part of those 14 minutes was riding the ride so it was still it was even quicker than 14 minutes for the line wait. Okay, so we're over here in front of Reese's Cup Fusion, the indoor shooting dark ride slash game experience. Right now it says it's already a whopping 60 minute wait. And the current time is 12.06. 
So we're going to take a minute to go use the complimentary lockers that they have right next to the building over here. Going to the lockers will add a few minutes to the wait time, but it should be negligible. We'll see how it goes. Here's an idea of what the current line looks like for Cup Fusion. It's kind of hard to see the whole line, but it's packed in there, so it's really bad right now. Alright, so after getting off the ride and dealing with the locker situation, the wait time for the ride is still 60 minutes, and it's now 12.20. So yet again, a 14-minute ride time. That, that's really good. That's a quarter of the time that we would have waited normally. On this ride, as for scores, I got about 132,000, Jen got 155,000. My score was good enough for Junior Agent, which is second from the bottom on the list of scores, and Jen is a Master Agent, which is third from the bottom. So, not great, but not, it could be worse. Jen's number eight on the scoreboard, and I'm number 11 as of right now. Those will go down real fast, but right now we're on the scoreboard. We're over here now at Fahrenheit, my personal favorite coaster in this park. This one is notorious for having capacity issues and the wait times tend to explode on this later in the day. And so it'll be nice to try to skip that real quick. The wait time right now according to the Hershey Park app is 60 minutes. So we're going to give this one a ride, see how much time we save right now. And as of this 60 minute wait, the time is 1.10. Here's a look at the current regular line for Fahrenheit. So after riding, the wait time is still listed at 60 minutes on the app. And the time is now 1.25, so that was a 15 minute wait. This ride has a dedicated fast track line and never intermingle you with the main line, but despite that, there were a surprising number of people still waiting in that line, so it took a little bit longer, but 15 minutes for a 60 minute listed wait is still really good. According to the Hershey Park app here at the Super Duper Looper, it's a 20 minute wait, and the current time is 1.33. However, if you take a look, a live look in at the crowd, it does not look like a 20 minute wait, so we'll see how this goes. This one might be a little bit skewed, but we'll take a look at it and see how quick it goes. Alright, so after getting off the ride, the Hershey Park app still says a 20 minute wait. It still does not look like a 20 minute wait, but uh, it says what it says. It is now 1.52, so we had a 19 minute wait this time, so it didn't really save us much time if this app is being accurate. Um, this one did put us back. It mixed in with the main queue by the end of the wait, so that kind of slowed things down and we were stuck in the train waiting to get back in the station for a little bit so that kind of skewed the numbers a little bit but we still saved a minute. Not to mention that both Super Duper Looper and Sky Rush which are near each other in this area have complimentary lockers available so we took some time to put our stuff in the locker and to retrieve the stuff from the locker so that added a couple of minutes to our time. I love a good b and invert, and judging by this wait time, so do a lot of people in the case of the Great Bear. Right now it says it's a whopping 90 minute wait. The time is 2.02, so let's see how much time we save here. The line starts in the distance down there, wraps around this whole building, and goes way down beyond where we can see from here. So it's a huge line that's not very quick to move. By the time we got off of Great Bear, the wait time dropped down to a 60 minute wait. It's still kind of a heavy wait. The time is 2.21, so we waited 20 minutes to get on. 60 down to 20 is still a decent savings. That's not too bad. All right, time for the two big coasters. We're gonna hit Candemonium and Sky Rush back to back since we're near them both. Right now it says Candemonium is a 25 minute wait because everybody has moved toward the back of the park because it's kind of late in the day. Right now the time is 3.54, so let's see how much time this one saves us. Okay, so after that ride on Candemonium, the wait is still 25 minutes according to the app. The time is now 4.13, so we were looking at about a 20 minute wait, including actually riding and retrieving our things from the locker. So we saved about five minutes, that's not too bad. 
as a side note, the trim brakes were working overtime today, so that kind of ruined the ride experience a little bit, but we still had a good time on that coaster. As a second side note, I also forgot to mention that I wasn't able to show what the queue was looking like in there for this ride because it's mostly indoors, but it looked pretty standard from what we could see. The fast track queue was separate from the rest of the inside queue, so I couldn't really see a whole lot of it myself. From a being in hyper coaster to an intimate mega coaster, we're here at Sky Rush now. According to the app, it says there's a 30 minute wait. The queue itself is pretty empty, so I find it hard to believe it's actually a 30 minute wait. We may actually not come out on top on this one, but the time right now is 4.25, so we'll see how it goes. Here's a look at the virtually non-existent queue. Most of the people are on the stairs already into the station. We're here by both Storm Runner and Jolly Rancher Remix. We're gonna hit Storm Runner first right now, according to the Hershey Park app. It says Storm Runner is a 25 minute wait, and the current time is 4:42. So let's ride. Here's how the regular line looks like for Storm Runner right now. That's pretty long. After riding Storm Runner, it still says it's a 25 minute wait. It took us a total of, let's see, 19 minutes to ride it. I'm pretty sure that that is not actually a 25 minute wait showing how full that queue was because if it took us 19 minutes skipping all that, I find it hard to believe the rest of that long queue is only six more minutes. But that's what the app says. We're moving on to Jolly Rancher Remix now, so we'll take a look at what that wait time is. And Jolly Rancher Remix is showing a 45 minute wait. The time is 5.04, so it's time to ride it. And here's a look at what we're currently dealing with in terms of line length. So it definitely looks like it probably is accurate that it's a 45 minute wait, maybe more. So we left the line for Remix because we were on the ride and they closed it for a light drizzle. So we had actually gotten on the ride at 5.15, we only waited 10 minutes when it said that the wait was 25 minutes, but we never actually rode, so I can't really give you an accurate count. We came right next door to the Mixed Flavored by Jolly Rancher, which it says is a 45 minute wait for the new Zamperla Nebulas ride. And here's a look at what the queue looks like currently. It doesn't seem like much from here, but it goes into the back where you can't really see very well. So we'll, we'll ride this one instead. This one still runs in the rain, it appears. So as we were in line for Mixed, presented by Jolly Rancher or whatever the long name of that ride is, they closed that one as well. So we came over to Laugh Track, figuring this is an indoor coaster. This would be the only thing running right now. Apparently, everybody else realized the same thing. So this line looks kind of crazy. It goes way back there. It's hard to see from where I'm standing, but there are a ton of people here. According to the phone, the wait time looks like 45 minutes, which is going to explode shortly. Uh, the current time is 5.49. I have a feeling even the fast track line is going to take longer than 45 minutes, but with it being the only thing open that we haven't ridden that accepts fast track, we're going to try it anyway. So we survived the wait to get on laugh track. In the time we waited, the wait time has ballooned to 90 minutes from 45. The time is now 6.53. I honestly, after all that, don't remember exactly what time it was when we got in line. I'll put it on the screen in just a minute to see how long it's been since we waited in line. I know it was a while, but this is kind of an exceptional circumstance with the rain and that being one of the only indoor rides, so it's a little bit understandable. So I just chalked this one up as an anomaly. Most of our waits today have been pretty, pretty good. Um, this may, since the park closes in an hour and it's still raining, this may be the last ride we have of the day. We'll see. We'll try to see if we can get on something else, but it's not likely. So, as expected, the rain put a damper on our day, no pun intended. That was all that we were able to ride before the rain shut everything else that's fast track eligible down. But I'm hoping you were able to get the gist of what it was like to have a fast pass. It seems like 
no matter what the wait time is, you're looking at about a 15 to 20 minute wait using the fast pass, and that includes the time it takes to actually ride the ride, get off, get your stuff if you happen to use the locker. So you do save some time. It's all a matter of how much you're really willing to pay to skip the lines. If you're willing to pay a decent amount, because it can be a pretty penny. Um, ours was about mid-range for what they charge for just a basic fast lane pass, and it was still pretty pricey. Um, but if you're okay spending it, I feel like it's worth the money. So, yeah, go for it, definitely. But I recommend that you don't buy it online. Buy it in person when you get to the park, because if you buy it online, you never know what the weather forecast is going to be. And they do have policies in place where if you purchase it, you don't get refunds since, you know, it can rain at any time, you know, they have those clauses in effect, so be careful. Check the weather before you come here, buy it when you get to the park, don't buy it online, that's my recommendation. So if you found this video interesting, we would appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Every like and subscribe really helps a lot. And also don't forget to check out our Instagram page for pictures from our trip and previous trips and also future trips. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, but the fun's not over yet. Click the box in front of my face for another fun video. Or click my tree to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss another video.